me, Mr. Bertosh. You're incredibly handsome, wonderful, amazing, fabulously bearded science teacher. And in this video, we are going to talk about tissues. <laughs> In another video, I talk about cells. Actually, in two other videos, we talk about cells. We talk about animal cells and plant cells. And living things, all living things, are made of these very amazing living bricks called cells. And many living things only have one cell. We call those unicellular or single-celled life forms. But... Plants and animals, all plants and animals, are multicellular. Multicellular means that they are made of many cells. In the case of humans, about 100 trillion cells. So there are roughly, give or take, 100 trillion cells in your body. Although you are a half-size human, uh, you are a child, probably. So you may not yet be fully grown, and you may not have your full complement of 100, and 100 trillion cells. Um, when you get my age, you might start to lose some of them on the top of your head. And that will make you very sad and you will cry. But anyway, until then, you will have, at some point, you will have around 100 trillion cells in your body. But these cells are not just like randomly, uh, you know, floating there. They are actually stitched together. They are stuck together. And otherwise, your body would just fall apart, right? You'd be walking down the road and all your cells would collapse in a fountain of cells on the ground. And that would be sad. So the cells are stuck together and they form something called a tissue, not a tissue, not a handkerchief, not that kind of tissue, but a tissue as in a sheet of living bricks, kind of like a brick wall. So a tissue is a, an official definition would be two or more cells of the same kind combine to form a tissue. So your skin is a tissue. Your skin's actually an organ made of some different tissues. And we'll talk about how tissues combine to form organs in another video. But the outside layer of your skin is a tissue. And your heart is made of different tissues. And all of your body, all of the cells combine to form tissues, like living brick walls. Two or more cells of the same kind make a tissue. And then two or more tissues combine to form an organ. Okay. Well, there are, because there are different kinds of cells, there are also different kinds of tissues. That's logical, right? Uh, what are the kinds of tissues? Well, there are four. There are four main kinds of tissues in animals. And the first of these is called, well, I don't know, what one do we want to start with? Let's go with muscle tissue. So the first of these is called a, it's called muscle tissue. Muscle tissue, this will shock you, uh, is made out of muscle cells. I know, surprising, right? Muscle tissue is made out of muscle cells. And there are actually three different kinds of muscle cells, but we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, muscle tissue is a special kind of tissue that does work. It flexes and relaxes, and it makes your eyebrows so that they can move. My daughter can do this thing where she she can make her eyebrows go in a wave. I totally cannot do it because I am not awesome like her. Uh, but anyway, that's your muscles that are making you move. Okay. A second type of tissue. What shall we do next? Let's do nervous tissue. It's called nervous tissue. Nervous tissue is made up of, I don't know, what kind of cells do you think? Hmm. Maybe nervous cells. They're, they're like nervous, right? Because they have to do some public speaking. That seems to make people nervous. Uh, but that's not really why they're called. They're not nervous. They are nerve cells. They are found in your nervous system. And nervous cells or nerve cells are special cells that can transmit electricity.
just pretty cool. They're like wires or wires in your body and they transmit signals around your body, the messages. So as you're watching this video and you're thinking, dang, that Mr. Bertosh, he has a fabulous beard. The thoughts in your mind that are causing you to admire my amazing, beautiful, slightly gray beard. Those thoughts are running on the wires in your brain. The nervous tissue, whose special, amazing superpowers that they can transmit electrical signals. Okay. Another, the third type of uh, tissue, is, and I'm going to forget which ones we've talked about, but uh, we haven't talked about epithelial, epithelial yet, so let's talk about epithelial tissue. Third type is called epithelial tissue. These don't really matter what order they're in. Okay. Epithelial tissue is a special kind of tissue that forms a protective layer around other tissues. So your body is lined with epithelial tissue. That is skin. The inside and outside of your organs is lined with epithelial tissue. It's not skin in that case, but it's still, it's a, it's a protective layer. It just protects your, uh, the inner inside layers of the organ or whatever. Epithelial tissue is a special rific type of tissue that protects other tissues. It's durable and hard and it, it is, doesn't fall apart super easy. Like if I scratch my forehead, I leave lines, I think, but I don't actually do too much damage unless I like scratch too hard. Okay. And the final, the fourth type of tissue in animals is called connective tissues. Connective tissues connect the rest of the tissues together, like bone. Bone connects your body together, right? Cartilage, um, tendons, and you know, sinews and different things that, that are running through your body that connect all of the other tissues together. In fact, between your skin, your epithelial tissue, your skin, and underneath, there are little clear uh connective tissues that keep your skin from falling off, right? I mean, if I can't take my face and go and pull it to the side of my head, that might be kind of cool, also kind of gross, because my face is connected. It doesn't move very far because there's connective tissue under there holding my skin to the muscles and bones below, so I can only move it a couple of inches, and then it reaches the limit because those connective tissues pull back and I said, don't you dare pull that face away from here. That's our face and we're keeping it. So there are four types of tissues and in no particular order, they are muscle tissue, nervous tissue, epithelial tissue, and connective tissue. These four types of tissues make up your entire body and they combine in different ways to form you but to make organ system, organs and or, organs make organ systems and organ systems make organisms and you are an organism. And we use our four, these four tissues to stay alive. So for example, a heart, which is an organ, is made up of muscle tissue, which is cardiac, cardiac uh, muscle. And it, it pumps, right? And so that's the muscle tissue that's pumping. And it is made up of connective tissue. Uh, well, actually it is, but first made up of ep epithelial tissue, which aligns the muscle to protect it. And it's made up of connective tissue, which holds it in your chest, holds it in place. And it's made up of nervous tissue, which is sending the signal from your brain to your heart to pump, 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 pump. And it's coming from your, that signal is coming on nervous tissue electrical signal sent from your brain to your heart to keep it pumping. And those are, that is how cells are organized into tissues in your body and in all living things. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. 
I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science students. So sign up, subscribe to the channel, and I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos, and they're much more targeted, and those ones are scripted, so you don't have to hear me like you are right now, going blah, blah, blah. The end. Uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.